Hello again and welcome to How to Fix a U-Boat. Now last week we packed up all the artefacts and moved them into a climate controlled storage facility. In the process, Mark got very excited about some rusty springs. We found these this week. These are valves and springs. Uh, obviously, it went whilst the sea, it was, it was paramount to be able to carry out repairs on the U-boat. So the purpose of this is this valve, it was a, an overhead valve engine. So the valve would seal, the, obviously the piston would go up and down and the valve would seal the compression. Uh, so this is for the, the main diesel engine? This is for the main diesel engine. So the U-boat had two main diesel engines. Yep. They were both man engines and they were both nine cylinders. Uh, man, well, James were pioneers in technology. So the, the, the things that we see on this, it's like, this is metric thread. We were using Whitworth back then and it's like, we're still using metric thread now. Man engines, the, you know, the, 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 a lot of trucks are still using man engines, such as like, it was using Siemens motors, Varta batteries. There was a lot of technology that the Germans jumped on that, you know, we're, we're still using today. Uh, so yeah, the purpose of this, this would go up and down. Obviously, as the piston would go up, this would seal. The, this would be sealed by this. So that would keep a constant spring on it. And then it would be closed by, it would be controlled by a rocker arm. So these are, you know, although they've been under the sea for 50 years, the chroming on them, it's, it's unreal. You know, we could probably buy a brush these up and we can make them run again. Now, if you didn't understand most of that, don't worry, you're not alone. But I did find it interesting just looking through some of the boxes of spare parts with Mark. Even without knowing what was in each box, he could guess just by looking at them with his engineer's brain, figuring out how they all fitted together. But we'll cover those in more detail another day, because I think that's enough tech geekiness for now. See you next time.